Like, all the spookies are not here anymore. There was, like, a weird one that teleported that had... Oh! Oh! What's going on? What's going on? There might be spookies! Okay, guys. So, welcome back to Subnautica. And, well, you may notice something here about the scanner room. But, before I get to that, I need to explain to you what we're going to be doing today. So, last episode, after I lost my sea moth, I kind of just... I... I didn't know what that thing was um now i've gone back and i've looked at my map that area where i was that kelp forest i was in um there is legit a reaper leviathan within like 30 feet <laughs> and basically what i can see here is over by the rear end of the aurora the ship that we had um there are six of these things. There's six. Fairly close to each other. Um, there are four of them that are basically at the surface. And two of them that are 300 meters down. And then towards the front of the Aurora. Which actually you have to slip in and uh, go into here to get into the Aurora. Apparently to repair it. Which we are going to have to do at some point. There are four four reapers but they all are the only one i think we're gonna have to worry about is the one that is at 87 meters because we're gonna have to go in i think we can sneak in there with the cyclops here when we build it because i found out sorry i spaced off there on what i was gonna say um but i found out here if i head to the underwater islands there is a shipwreck there a large wreck kind of dead center it's fairly safe place um there's a reaper nearby but i shouldn't have to worry about it because it is a it's actually a ghost leviathan never mind and it is way down deep in another underground biome that we'll have to get to apparently future in the story sorry i'm spoiling stuff for myself um but yeah there's four reapers over there at the front two of them are like 200 meters down 300 meters down and then yeah there's two of them that we might have to worry about when we're going in to the aurora but i think we should be safe especially if i take the cyclops but first before i hit the escape button first time i did that also i took a big break um but before i do that i need to get a sea moth here and we're gonna pack up some to go health kits um i need a titanium ingot like i was gonna craft um i need crystal for glass that's whoops uh, I need crystal. I don't have any, do I? I keep on doing that. I'm sorry. I took a break from Subnautica here. It's been a hot minute. Um, lubricant glass. Okay. You can. I'm out of titanium. <laughs> I'm out of room. Okay. Uh, tch -tch. you can go in there. You can go in there. I don't need that diamond on me. Boop. Okay. Now, power cell before I forget about it. It's down in here. Two batteries and silicone rubber. I got the stuff for that. I'll just make it now. It's not in that. It's in the junk. Boom. Now we're out of silicone. I might actually have to start a kelp garden. Which I can do at some point. I should probably do that today. I got the titanium for it. Uh, I could do that real quick, so that way we could just get that going, and then when we go out, we this should just start. So, I need two more pieces of lead. Where did I put all my lead? I forgot. Uh, it's in one of these storage boxes. It's in this one. One, two. Okay. Now, we're going to pop out here. Now, boop. Now... Boom. Let's just go. Ah! 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 Every time. I'm just... I was just scared because it finally, like, hit me in the face. Just... Ah! I'm sorry. I keep on screaming at you guys. I thought the Reaper came to get me. Like, the Reaper Leviathan. I thought that thing came to get me. Alright? Like, I thought it followed me back home. No, like, no, I'm not lying either. Like, I full-on thought... 
I was going to die. Uh, I feel like I'm going to come out here one of these days and I'm just going to look out there and he's going to be off in the distance because he followed me. I really hope he didn't. Exterior grow bed. Come on. Okay. Get this... Lined up. But apparently I can grow several things in these. Farming alien plants is a proven survival strategy. Craig McGill survived 47 months on a healthy, raw salad of live tree roaches and stank root. Am I out of titanium? I am. Need one more. I'm gonna get those four grow beds and then I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with those grow beds. So. I'm going to need to grab these real quick. We'll have to go grab some other ones from another biome because we are going to have to go get those at some point when we are upgrading this new sea moth. Um, technically today, what we are going to be doing is making a new sea moth and then weaponizing it. All right, because I at least want to be able to defend myself from a sea moth or from reapers if needed. But I'm not planning on ever getting in a situation like that again. Um, unless it's in a prawn suit. Because apparently those things can fight back. Or if I can fight back in the sea moth. Which would technically be after this. Uh, I unpinned the wrong thing, didn't I? I'm like losing my mind right now. Because I'm trying to focus on what I'm saying. So I don't like stop halfway through. Which is a really stupid excuse on why I'm doing that. Uh, so I need to quickly boop. Pin you back. There we go. Now, I need glass, but I almost forgot. I came in for these. Now, I might be able to plant some coral samples. I'll try it. I don't know. Plant. Doom, doom. Okay. Now, hopefully those spread. Now. Ow. Mother trucker, where are you? Where's my knife? thing has bit me four times. I just want to stab it. <laughs> can I gather this stuff? I wonder if I can gather certain plants. Ooh, I did! So, what about the red grass? I can't gather, gather the red grass. But, now I got this one. Hold up, I'll just... I can grow... Oh, I can probably grow a bunch of plants. I wonder if I can grow these red, red ones. I hit something. I think I just hit the ground. Um, but at some point, I have a... Here. I have a camera in position for this. Ooh, and now I can actually just go back and tell you guys this, because I almost forgot about it. Um, oh, yeah, because I came out here to get crystal. Again, I'm sorry I'm, like, losing my mind and, like, forgetting about stuff. Uh, I'm actually getting better at it. But right now, it's just because I don't want to die. <laughs> I don't want to get... I, again, I still feel like the Reaper followed me. I know it didn't. I've had... I sent a camera out that way to investigate. Uh, I couldn't even get close to where that I died. So, what I did was this. I expanded the room. The room search area. And I took out the... Was it the time thing? Or whatever it is. Uh, where is it? This one. Scanner room speed upgrade. I took that one out also before I forget. Do do. You can have those back. And I need to eat something real quick. And we got the scanner room. Boom. Pretty awesome now that we got it fully decked. And as I can tell, as from what I can tell, um, this should be the sparse reef over in here, and then over in here is the grand reef, where it starts to drop. And this should be out towards the island, or I might be wrong on that. Um, but over in here, somewhere, is the aurora. I need to get this other upgrade here for my uh, my suit, so that way I can tell what direction I'm looking. Where is it? Uh, where are they? There's like a compass somewhere. Yeah, wiring kit. 
Oh, I can do that, like, legit right now. I'm out of copper. I'll do it here in a second, but yeah. I So I got this thing all set up, and what I scanned for last time was... Where is it? It's not popping up anymore. Huh. Well, one of them was that, that was popping up was, uh, like, things that collected, like, the blueprints. Now I don't see it. But again, we got the fragments. I'll hit that one. It, yeah. But what I did get here for cameras is, as you guys can see here, camera two. Uh, it's pretty dark. It's because nothing is loaded in. Life pod 13 out that way. That's the base, and down here is where we're going to be heading. This here is the blood kelp biome. Now, this is a bit of a scary place, but I need to come down here for this. This little thing is a gel sack. Now, this should be able to, this should be, get me the ability to craft arrow gel. Once I get those, I believe. I might be wrong. And we're also going to collect some blood oil here. Just so that way we have some on hand. Now, um, as of right now, for some reason, I'm not seeing any of the spookies. Like, all the spookies are not here anymore. There was, like, a weird one that teleported that had... Oh! Oh! What's going on? What's going on? There might be spookies! Oh. oh, I can't get this camera disoriented. I think I just hit something there. I don't think I actually... Can I, like... Oh, yeah, no, I so collided with one of these. It was so I did that. Yeah, because there's no spookies around. And there's another one, like a little shocky guy. Like, he looks like he's an electric. Yeah, an electric-type Pokemon. Let's go with that. The electric... It's an electric water type. But yeah, uh, we got that camera over there. Um, but I also do still have camera one in position here of a fragment or a blueprint that I was looking for. Um, Osora, or so I thought. So, uh, yeah, this guy has been a chew toy for a while. I don't know how long. Uh, yeah. Really, uh, really just realized I now lost that position. So, camera one. And then, where's camera three? Oh, yeah, camera three is here around the base. And I got fragments everywhere, but that's not what we're needing. So, what I'm going to do here quickly is we're going to go get our new Seamoth built up. Then, we're going to go start upgrading it. I don't know if I have everything, though, to do my upgrades. Luckily for us, it's just up here. Doom. Yeah. We were over there when we died. I wish there was binoculars. So I just could look over there. But my sea moth is gone. So, oops, new one. Can I craft the wait? Hold up. I don't think I can craft it, can I? I'm a hundred percent certain I'm still missing. Yeah, I still need one more engine upgrade. And that should be over there in that biome. So sea moth is done. Boom. Welcome aboard, Captain. Good to be on board. And we did also get a modification station last time, if I am correct, right? Did we build that? Or did I just think we I built it? I'm 100% certain that I... Uh, I need a Seamoth Depth Module. 
shoot i need more glass all right hold up i'm gonna set the scanner here just a crystal just so that way all that but there's also another module i need to get scanner room hub chip uh that one out real quick throw that here in storage i wish there was a recycler so i could get the magnetite back from that but i need to go down there and actually get a lot of magnetite but for now i'm going to stick to the crystal because i need to make the depth module hold up and then once we get the depth module okay we can also do this i'm pretty sure i might be able to make that Oh, we'll need the magnetite after that. I could pro I could possibly get all the way up to Mark III. No, I got all the stuff for Mark III. I'm 100% certain. I could get this the Seamoth to go down as deep as we need it. It's just it's going to be scary. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I should do that. Stop scanning for fragments. I need quartz. Seek fluid intake. Oh, yeah, I'll seek fluid intake here as well. Um, also, yeah, I'm out of the ladder fish. I have quite literally just been surviving on overeating lantern fruit to get my uh, water up. <clears throat> Vital signs, stay but it is, it's is—it's been working. Uh, now, before I forget about it, we can do this real quick. Now, boop. Now, we can go up here. Do I got an extra battery on me? I do. Just in case this thing dies on me. We're gonna go up here and get some copper. This isn't gonna give me copper. It's gonna give me gold. Uh, I'll find some. Okay. I kinda went a little overboard. I just started gathering resources. But, yeah. I got everything I need. Um... I also think I just found out where I could get the, what is it called? Seek fluid into Creature containment unit. So I can hatch some of those eggs. And I believe I can even start farming some resources from certain creatures. There's this one, like, we have a couple of them by the base. I'll show you them. I just was by a couple, though. Um, it's like... It's, a, it's like a manatee, but it has like a bulbous thing on the back that shoots out toxic bubbles that pop. Um, and so, yeah. That is one guy I want to get looked at because it kind of seemed interesting. Um, and I'm pretty sure those green balls that they pop out are one of the things I use for ammo in the sea. Uh, my inventory's full. I can't grab food right now. Dang it. Uh, titanium go in there. Uh, as much as I can get. We'll quickly make the compass. Douche. And then that should just be spanking right there. Now, yes, that, you know, you don't understand how much helpful that is. Because I know here to the north of me, that's north now, all right? The aurora is should be out that way. Okay. Or it should actually be somewhat like... Uh, no, because to the south of me is the Degasi habitat. So, yeah. But what that does is that when I stand in here, I now know that out, out this way to the south, I... Yeah, the Grand Reef is over here. Okay? But that means right in here is the Sparse Reef because that's to the southwest of me. But up here to the northeast is that correct? Northeast or southeast? I actually hold up. I just lost where I was. Right, north. Okay, yeah, that should be there. So out that way is the kelp forest. If I'm correct. And is that where came? Yep. Nope. I got reoriented. Yeah, that should be at where it is. I did. I like full on just went scatterbrain there. I forgot what I was doing. Eat. Now, let's quickly get this crafted. I need to get two pieces of glass. I need titanium here for, uh... What is it? I need titanium here for the damn, uh... 
ingots. I need one, right? I got two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. There we go. Here we go. And damn. I'm a hundred percent certain that's all I need for the upgrade module now, right? Yes! Seamoth MK1 depth module. Okay, yep, that's all I need. Now we need to do this. I need Mark II. So, enameled glass. I'm pretty sure I can do that. I think I can do that here first as well. Stalker tooth is what I need. Then I will quickly hop on. Here, we'll go get the mag magnetite first because that's what I need. Also, you guys are about to see something insane. Uh, I have the entire mushroom biome except out that way and a tiny itty bitty bit back in here but essentially I think I have the entirety of the mushroom biome except where the Dendasi base is over here by the Aurora this is a, there's an entrance here over here apparently towards the rear of the Aurora uh, so yeah that one is where we're cut off so I even got magnetite down in there seriously um, what we could do is this. Uh, we will quickly pull up camera two on the map. We're going to slap this depth module inside the Seamoth. Like so. Boom. And now we just go. We need to be careful, though, because this area gets somewhat close to what I would say is a danger zone. I, for, I need water. I need water bad. I should actually really go get water before I do this. I almost realized that as well. I, I know, I know. I just noticed. We're going. Also, I really don't think the mushrooms grow. I think I can just plant that stuff as all, like, decoration around my base. Uh, I might be wrong. Hopefully, though, it does grow. Because, like, this stuff grows me food. And, oh, yeah. I got all the way over to uh, the radiation zone on my search. Which means I got a little bit close to the Aurora, which isn't a bad thing. There is a front side there that we can get close to. But I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, I get the, when I get close to that side, it's closer to the... I was closer to the middle, but yeah, you get real close to the engine first, because that's what I'm closer to, the engine side. Now, there's only one magnetite there. Now it's not picking up any other. Are you serious? You got you, you got to be able to pick up something down there. I know that there's a bunch down there in that mushroom biome, but it's just not popping it. Oh, up here. I will just keep spamming food, actually, until my water's full, and then we'll go. Okay, here we go. Got filled up on water. We're gonna sit here. I hit like three fish. Also, I just like didn't realize I had my thing on my hop already. Double check twice. I hit another fish. But we're gonna head over in here. Uh, this is gonna get a little scary because we're gonna get close to a biome called the Dunes. But, yeah, we shouldn't really worry about it. Um, there's a sea moth fragment right there. And here we go. Now, this should be an interesting trip. So, let's go down. There's our camera. Um, so the blood kelp I wanted to gather. I know there's definitely some closer to the top, but yeah. Blood oil, crystal. And we're gonna take the blood oil. I should be careful. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. This is gonna definitely be a couple trips. 
Okay, so we're gonna craft these down into a certain chemical just so that way they're easier to store. But yeah, oil, solvent. So that's what that stuff would be used for. I wonder if I can get plants of those to grow. Luckily, this is why they have invented Google. Okay, yes, I legit just got confirmed that I should have just planted one of those. So, what we'll do here is this. We're gonna go back, we're gonna collect one more sample, and then we're gonna dive deeper. Now, this is nighttime. And this area is... You know what? It's not close to uh, the dunes, but it's like right there on the border. But it's not close to any of the Reaper spawns. Until you get to the very far end. Which I don't think I'm going to plan on doing. Also, if you're wondering why I'm not scared of the sand sharks, I've gotten used to just listening to them in my base. So. Sand sharks are different. Um, also, I need to make sure that these aren't... Are these the collectibles? The gel sacks? No. Shoot. I was completely wrong on those. Alright. Let's get my sample. Uh, scan it, bloodbind. Feathered, nice. Uh, feel like a marine biologist. What the hell is that? I think it's a sand shark. Uh, where's my sea moth? My sea moth's over here. Okay, you. Like a specimen. Spine fish. Right, collecting specimen. I don't know what I'm doing now. Um, magnetite though. Oh, there. I see a chunk, I think. No, no, no. Those are actually different. Uh oh no, yeah, no, we need these. We need a couple of these. I shouldn't have done that many, but it helps. Um, I'm not seeing the gel sacks I came down here for, though. I think they might be all the way at the bottom. I can't go past 300 meters, though. And as you may notice... Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Really can't go past this point on it, huh? My question is: Is there were some scary creatures around? Like there was a the guy that teleported. Biome matches seven of the nine preconditions for stimulating terror in humans. Oh, you think? Is that uranium? That is uranium ore. I have a chunk of uranium just sitting in my back pocket. That is a sentence I didn't think I'd ever say in this game. Ooh, another chunk. Uh, we might build a nuclear reactor. Yeah. Was that a Geiger counter? I just heard. Oh! There's one of the scaries. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I wonder if those guys aren't actually as scary. They're just supposed to, just like, be nearby to scare you. You know? Like, you'll get a glimpse of them, and then they'll teleport away. They're just supposed to be, like, one of those kind of things. Yeah, I don't want to head 
up that way because that's out towards the dunes. I'm 100% certain. Oh, yes. Also, my habitat is running out of power right now. But, yeah. Where'd that guy go? I was going to try and scan him. That was the plan. But that might be a bad idea until I get a stasis rifle. Which might be next episode. Because uh, this episode took a lot longer than I thought. Okay, so one last thing. Just because I now have the Seamoth and I feel more comfortable like maneuvering down in here. Uh, I'm going to go look for some Magnetite. Now, in my experience, it tends to be near... What just hit me? Oh, you. I need to get a creature defense thing as well. Uh, basically, if they bite me, they get zapped. Just zzz. And then creature will no longer bug me. Uh, I don't know if it kills them. I think it just gives them a message that uh, we don't like being bit. Now, if I had a mining, a prawn suit to mine that, I would. Because that's a big chunk of magnetite. Uh, honestly, with how much... Uh, I bet you know what it does. It marks every single last one of those as a magnetite. I should also scan this. I've never seen this peeper. Gotta be careful as well, because I could have a snake. Yeah, one of those guys pop out. Me, crab snake pop out. Do not want to get got by one of those guys. Um, is that what I need? those two chunks of yes it's two chunks of magnetite that's all i need for a depth module but i need more than that so i'm gonna keep gathering but in terms of this episode i think i'm gonna end it here i'm gonna go just look for more magnetite because again it appears to be a little sparse but i got a third piece i need like a bunch of this i'm gonna just fill my inventory with only this while i'm down here so yeah but I will catch you guys next episode, which will probably be as soon as I got enough magnetite and I get back to the <laughs>